Hello and welcome to the Stanley Parable Aperture Theory video. If you have not yet played the Stanley Parable or the Portal games, I suggest you click the door to avoid spoilers. If you have played the Stanley Parable or simply don't care being the rogue you are, then allow the video to continue. I'll give you 10 seconds to decide your path. Well, I'd say that was 10 seconds, right? All right, let's get this adventure started. Ah, the Stanley Parable. This meta journey without any real genre to define it seems to have an infinite amount of direction and in the same sense could take place in any time, location or plane of existence. But what if I told you, dear viewer, that the Stanley Parable takes place in a very specific place, that it were part of something far greater? What if I told you that the Stanley Parable took place in Aperture Labs? Yes, what if I said that this supposed model of moldable anonymity simply takes place several feet above the antics of Chell and GLaDOS? Aperture Science We do what we must because we can this is the motto of Aperture Science Laboratories, which was started by Cave Johnson as Aperture Fixtures in 1947. Originally a shower curtain manufacturer, their first documented foray into science was not until 1968, and well, let's just say it all went downhill from there. After the power shift at Aperture Labs and a few changes to policy, the scientific research facility mainly does one thing. Tests. What sort of tests, you ask? Well, despite most of them being based around the use of the portal gun, if you look into it deeper, you'll see that in many cases, the tests are not at all about the use of any technology, but psychological tests. Toying with human emotion and sanity, all in the name of science. And this is where, dear adventurers, our true theorizing begins. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley is a man without identity beyond his name. He is an entity with the sole purpose of being tested. The sole purpose of being convinced. You see, what I'm getting at is that the entirety of the Stanley parable is an aperture science test, all for the purpose of convincing your generic average Joe Stanley into thinking his life is a game. Now, I suppose it's time to bring some evidence in to support this wild claim. Oh no, not one of these. It's not even reading off a disk. Why does it need constant loading screens? Ah, there we go. Well, as said earlier, it seems like the tests are more psychological tests rather than ones based solely around testing the portal gun. Many of them take inspiration from old US military tests, such as those involving subjects gaining an obsession, even a relationship with an inanimate object after prolonged isolation, an experiment conducted using everyone's favorite polyhedral assigned best friend, the weighted companion cube. The very idea of Aperture conducting any sorts of psychological tests on its subjects is not even a little bit unlikely. One of the most seminal quotes from the mentally unstable founder, Cave Johnson. Science isn't about why, it's about why not. This quote and a few others alongside the true nature of GLaDOS and Cave's obvious loose moral standards for his own facility, plus the sheer size of Aperture, suggests that other tests were conducted in the facility. With the added information about the companion cube, it would make perfect sense for the previously suggested psychological tests to take place. Now, what tests would these be? Well, they would most likely be a rather quirky, specific, detailed subject. They would probably have a pristine and uniform look, but with a makeshift appearance in some parts, revealing how broken down Aperture really is. It would most likely be led around by cause, so a strong, curious narration. And most of all, it would be designed to deceive. The twisted nature of the facility, especially after Gladys's hostile takeover, would probably have some grand trick, a scheme, a slice of cake, so to speak, but on a far more primary scale. What if, what if you could take somebody? and convince them that life was a game. 
simply by manipulating their environment, utilizing the cores and the bland look of aperture. The final bit of information, the conclusion to further my point and make you truly see is that when you eventually exploit flaws in the system and make the narration core, I mean narrator mad, he places you in a place far more obvious. You are brought to the heart of Aperture, the belly of the beast. As soon as you are in the portal testing facility, the personality of the narrator changes drastically. His voice deepens as he becomes sadistic, even cruel. And this quote, this seals the deal. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. It's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. A loyal core, becoming more like GLaDOS as he gets closer and closer to her, becoming more corrupt as he gets closer to power. Don't you see? It's a trick, a mind game. The game itself is a hellish mind This is a story of a man without any identity beyond his name. This is a story of a man named Stanley.